I don't know. I just feel like there's some fucking shady, weird shit going on. And I don't want people to stop talking about it because I just want to know what the fuck happened. I want to know what I was a part of. I want to stop calling it TanaCon because I feel like that's just... I want to stop using Tana's name because it's just unnecessarily like throwing her name constantly into this. Even though it is her convention technically but it's not because like so many people were there to see me and other people so it's kind of like we were all supposed to make these kids happy and we all fucking failed didn't have control over it but it happened right i'm just gonna call it failcon <laughs> so even if failcon happened and you know it worked right there still would have been so many disappointed people because it would be impossible to meet that many people, right? Like, it would be impossible. Like, even if, like, we figured it out, we got the right security, whatever, like, if, if there was 5,000 people there, it would be impossible for 5,000 people to meet any of their favorite YouTubers because that's a lot of people, so how the fuck would that happen? So then you just have thousands of people who are like, oh, I didn't get to meet Shane or Tana. Guess I'll go home. Like, then what is that? Like, I'm just like thinking like, what was this? Do you know what I mean? I just, and if, it's just too hard to figure out. So that's where I'm struggling. I'm like, how am I gonna fix this? Because like, I can't meet 5,000 people. Where the How the fuck am I going to do that? Where am I going to do that? Fucking Cheesecake Factory? I've checked. They don't have 5,000 boots. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's why it's fucking me up. Because I feel like I, I just am struggling to figure it out. I don't think there was 15,000 people. I just don't. I think there's so much about it that's not true. It feels like a conspiracy. It feels like I'm in a conspiracy. I don't fucking buy it. I can't figure it out. And I've talked to Tana. I've talked to so many people involved. And they can't figure it out. And we're all just so confused. I don't know. I don't know anything, right? You know, I know this much. I know Tana. I love Tana. That's it. Like, that's as much as I know. <laughs> but, like... I don't think there was 15,000 people there. I think there was 5,000 people there. I think they sold 5,000 tickets. I think 1,000 people went inside the building. And then I think the other 4,000 people were waiting outside and they couldn't get in because there wasn't room. I don't think there was a mob. I don't think it was a bunch of kids with no tickets. I think it was kids with tickets. I think they all bought tickets. I think they all bought tickets, and I think they all literally were standing in the sun for fucking six hours. And I'm sick of pretending like that's not how I feel, because it is. And I want to fix it, and I don't know how. I grew up so fucking poor, and I grew up in L.A., and if I was a kid now, I would have went and I would have begged my mom and she would have like fucking worked an extra shift to get that $70 to make it happen. And if this happened to me and I found out that like everybody's being like, oh, it was fucking, oh, there was 15,000 people. It was a mob. It was crazy. It was all whatever. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like there's some fucking shady, weird shit going on. And I don't want people to stop talking about it because I just want to know what the fuck happened i want to know what i was a part of you know what the f what was i a part of i don't know and maybe i'm just being a conspiracy theorist and maybe the, maybe literally there was twenty thousand people maybe whatever but i i met up with so many people so many people that were there um over the last two days and in person, talked to them, met with them. I didn't film it. I didn't, I don't, it was just, I just wanted to talk to them and help them and give them hugs and say sorry and, and shit. And it's just like, I don't know. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm doing it saying all this. 
I just needed to talk about it out loud because I haven't really been talking about it because I feel so confused. And I don't know. By the way, this isn't stuff, I don't want it to seem like I'm like, oh, talking shit about the TanaCon situation behind people's back or whatever. Because I'm not. I've talked to Tana about all this. I've talked to everybody involved. Everybody has a different story, so it's confusing. That's why I'm also confused, because I'm like, who the fuck is telling the truth? Literally, what is this? Um, maybe I should just do some research on it. Maybe it is a conspiracy. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I've already fallen down so many holes. I literally have watched hours of videos. And something is wrong. Like, the actual TanaCon, when you really look at the videos, there's nobody there. It's, like, empty inside. There's, like, it looks like 500 kids inside. Like, that's it. Like, it, it looks kind of, like, empty. But then you see, like, 5,000 kids outside. Like, what the fuck is going on? What is this? Then you look at the actual convention, and it's not even a convention. It's a hallway with nothing in it. And you're, like... What was that? Was this whole thing a scam for some weird fucking thing that none of us know about? I don't know. Ooh, it's so creepy. It's just so creepy and weird. But I don't know what the point of the scam would be. Because even if they were, like, just charging everybody, it's 60 bucks times 5,000. It's not that much money. It's not worth it. So it's like, what is that? No, I'm just rambling. Um... It failed on purpose? No, I don't think it failed on purpose. I think Tana really did want it to work. I think she she loves this shit. She loves touring and, you know, meeting fans and stuff. She does love that stuff, so why would she? That doesn't make any sense, so I don't know. I think Tana's confused about it, too. I think that's partially why she didn't respond that fast. I mean, I don't know. I was telling her to respond all day. I think she just was, like, having a hard time. But I think even she's just like, I don't really know what the fuck is going on. Because it just doesn't add up. I don't know. Do I feel guilty for advertising? Yes. I literally, like, can't sleep. I feel like such a fucking idiot. Like, I told people, like... I, was, I didn't tell people to come. I was like, I'll be there. But if people really did come and fly in and, like... I feel like shit. I don't know. I just, I can't get over it. I just literally can't get over it. VidCon sabotage channel. No, you know what's so funny? It's actually the opposite. And this is something I might get in trouble for saying. At this point, it's 5 in the morning, so I don't care. VidCon actually was trying to help. Like, I was getting messages and phone calls and emails from people very high up at VidCon. I haven't talked to in years because I haven't been to VidCon in years and they were trying to help they were like what can we do they're like what do we what can we do because we don't want anybody hurt we don't want anybody like it's just you know we don't want Tana hurt we literally we just want everybody to be okay of course they wouldn't publicly say that because they don't they were like we don't want to publicly say anything because we don't want you know we don't want to look like we're, like, claiming victory over whatever. Like, we don't care. We just literally don't want anybody hurt. Because we heard that there's, like, chaos going on. So it's like VidCon, if anything, VidCon has been, like, more helpful than the people that were running TanaCon. <laughs> so then that's where I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? It's just so confusing. I think at the end of the day, it was just a bad idea. <laughs> because even if it did work, what is it? Because it wasn't a convention. It was just a meet and greet, but not really. I don't know. I think Tana wanted the best. I just don't. I just, she knows it just wasn't. It just didn't work. So I don't know. Who was behind TanaCon? I don't even know. That's the other thing. It's so confusing. I have no fucking idea. I thought I knew who was behind it, but then now I'm thinking, was, were they behind it? Because they seem like they don't know what the fuck they're doing or talking about. So who really was behind it? Could it really have been this 20-year-old kid on a Segway? Like, I just don't buy that. 
you might not know what I'm talking about. If you watch the videos, you'll see this the guy who works at the company. Just this, he's so young, and like, I'm like, he can't be in charge. Literally, he doesn't. He's young too. Who is in charge? Like, God damn, did I say something bad? I don't know. I mean, at this point, I don't even care anymore. I literally am so mad at everything, and I'm so sad and disappointed. And I feel like I wasted not only my weekend, but, like, more importantly, thousands of people's weekend, and their money, and their fucking time. And I'm just sitting here like, all right, I gotta edit tomorrow. Like, I gotta pretend like I'm fine, but I'm not. I'm, like, losing my mind. I'm mad because I feel like nobody's actually telling the truth. I'm mad because if you watch the videos of the people that were actually at TanaCon, it's not just like screaming little girls like everybody's saying. It's like peop it's it's like people t in their twenties who were like, "What the fuck is going on? This sucks. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Like there's no food here. They didn't let us bring our water in. They weren't checking our bags. They literally didn't check bags." People were walking in with duffel bags, and they weren't checking them, with no metal detectors. Literally, somebody could have got shot. Like, I'm just thinking, like, one girl I talked to survived a school shooting a few years ago. And she was like, I thought there'd be security there. And nobody was even checking bags. So all I kept thinking is, I'm going to get fucking shot because of my PTSD. And I'm just, like, hearing all of that shit, and I'm just like, I can't just let this go. I can't just be like... All right, well, that's over. <laughs> like, it's just not. It just is bothering me. And I don't think Tana knows any of this either, because I think she's so, like, overwhelmed that I don't think she's really probably even, like, really fallen down the hole yet. Because when you fall down that hole and you see these videos of all these fucking people and their stories, it's fucked up. It's crazy. There was, like, babies there. Babies who were burning in the sun. I mean, it's probably the parents' fault for bringing babies, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I do know this. That's why I don't go to conventions. <laughs> because I fucking hate them. I hate them because it's just, I don't understand. I just don't. I ain't been getting high. Well, maybe a little, baby. I don't want to lie. I know when you.